The traditional definition of a prescription may involve bottles of pills or liquids, but those are only the tangibles. One Lafayette Pharmacy, however, is offering something a little more intrinsic, something aimed at giving its employees and customers a reason to smile. Scott Brazza explains in tonight's Spirit of Acadia. Now, I may be wearing a web-like mask, but the employees at Neighbors Pharmacy are much more immersed in this dress-up activity. They see all of this as a compliment, as a supplement, as another way to help their customers get their minds off things. Hi, this is Jade from Neighbors Pharmacy. You don't know what's coming tomorrow. Um, so this is a way for us to just kind of let go of reality and kind of live in the moment and it's just to feel good. We just wanted to let you know we had a prescription ready. Your prescription is ready. That's one way to help a customer at a pharmacy. And social distancing, that's another really good way to assist. Do you have any questions for the pharmacist? But now, notice the visuals. You've got Neighbors Pharmacy providing its customers with a weekly dose of a morale booster. You know, they, they come in and they see us and they're like, oh my goodness. And, you know, they just kind of, it start, it's a conversation right. starter and it's good medicine for the soul. Employees at the Lafayette office did crazy hat day and camouflage from Corona and we were wild about our customers. And week four of what I call prescription dress up has them going back, back to a special time or event or activity from the pre-corona era. So I have chosen to dress up as a Disney tourist because that the Disney parks are closed and we miss the fun and the magic of everything Disney is. It's a scary, uneasy time and a bright, fun injection of positivity is working wonders at Neighbors Pharmacy. I think it's a great idea, and like I said, it, it boosts the morale, and um, it puts a smile on our customers' faces, and what more could you ask for? So it's sort of an intangible prescription. Now, neighbors say they may keep this up when the corona era hopefully, hopefully, fades away. In Lafayette, Scott Brasta, KTC TV3.